Shalom Aleichem. We are learning the Sicha Kedoshim Aleph, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Gemara to try to understand the Siyum that the Rebbe made on Maseches Sanhedrin, and to understand what exactly it's about. So let's go to Sanhedrin Daf Kuf Yud Aleph Amud Beis, quite a while before the Siyum, where the Rebbe, sorry, where the Mishnah starts like this: Anche Yerinidachas, the people of Yerinidachas. An idolatrous city, and the pus, uh, it brings a pasuk that proves it. Um, they only get killed that the people um, that convinced them to go on Abay Dazar were from that city, and from that tribe, until most of them went off the path, and until they were pushed by men, if they were convinced by women or children, or just a minority of the town. Or there were people from outside the town, they're individuals, and it's not a category of they'll have two Edim and Asra for each one. And then the, Gemara, the Mishnah talks about the difference if it's individuals versus a lot. Okay. Then the, the Mishnah says the following. Um, the Pasuk says, you should destroy utterly whatever animals and with the edge of the sword and everything that's in it. From here, the Chacham tell us that whatever the property of the righteous who did not engage in idol worship that is inside the city is destroyed with the rest of the city's contents, but the property that's outside of it of the righteous. Platon is spirit. Both what's in it and what's out of it gets lost. Shenemar, as it says in the Pasuk, um, that you shall gather all its spoils in the midst of its square. So it's not Shenemar as in from, it's not continuing to the previous comment. It's a new comment. What do we learn from this Pasuk? If the city has no square, one creates a square for the city in order to fulfill the mitzvah as was written. Next, it says, V'sarafta be'ishas ha'ir es kol shlola kolu la'ashem alikecha. From here we learn you have to burn everything. So the Mishnah says it spoils, but not the spoils from Shemayim. From here the Chachamim say that whatever is hektish in the city, which is no longer the property of the inhabitants, must be redeemed, and trumas are neither eaten nor burned, rather they must be left to decay. But what do we learn next? Kolu la'ashem alikecha. So Rab Shimon says, Amar Kadesh Baruch Hashem says, "Im oisim ibri nedachas mani alechem kila antemalim oila kolil lefane." But the word kolil means that it's as if you gave me an entire kolil, an entire karban oila, totally burnt for me. Finishes off the Mishnah. Vahaisa tel oila. The pasuk says it should be a heap forever. From here we learn, "Loisase ganes of pardesim." That you should not make gardens and orchards. Zivid Rabbi Yosi Aglili. That's what Rabbi Yosi Aglili says. Rabbi Kiva, and Rabbi Kiva says, "Loisivna." Rabbi Kiva says from the Pasuk that says it should not be built again, we learn that it should not be built to the way it was. However, it may be converted to gardens and orchards. The next Pasuk says, the next part of the Pasuk, there shall cleave nothing of that which was devoted to your hand. In other words, nothing that was in there should go to you. And from what does the Gemara, the Mishnah say? She calls man As long as the Rishayim are in the world, Hashem's anger is in the world. Of the Rishayim and the Olam, nistalik chalein af min Olam. Once the Rishayim are gone, Hashem's anger leaves the world. So that is the Mishnah, which gives us a bit of context to the seum that we're doing. Now. Finishes off the, the Gemara. Now the Mishnah teaches on the possibly Chabi Yad Chamer Uma Min Achedem that calls Man Shor Shem Ba'Olam Chadai Naf Ba'Olam comes the Gemara and says, "Who are the wicked people mentioned in the Mishnah that calls Man Shor Shem Ba'Olam Chadai Naf Ba'Olam?" Says that Yosef Ganvi that they are the thieves. Finishes off the Gemara. Tana Rabbanan are the Chum Tov. Rasha Ba'Olam Chadai Ba'Olam. For Russia comes to the world, anger comes to the world. 
Rasha Avan Mino Elohim, the Rasha leaves the world Toiva Balelem. It's good. Shenemar Vavoyd the Shayim Dino. When the Shayim leaves, it's Dino. It's good. Sadik Nifta Mino Elohim Rav Balelem. Shenemar Sadik Avad Ve'Ein Ish Samalev Vanchi Chesed Nesafim Ve'Ein Mevim Kimi Pnei Aron Nesaf Sadik. They're not getting it. They don't realize that there was a major tragedy that the Sadik left. Sadik Balelem Toiva Balelem Shenemar Zayin Nachamein Mid Maisenu Umi Itzvay Nedenu. That's the last words of. Kol Yisrael Yeshlem Chelik Kol Mabal, which is the final parak of Sanhedrin, the whole parak about Mashiach. So what we just did now is we just gave context to the Siyam. In other words, what what was the Gemara on, and then we could understand what the Rebbe Shaila is. What what's the point of Ganve? Who are the Ganavim, etc. As the Rebbe goes in in the Sicha, I just want to focus in conclusion on the Haida that the Rebbe learned, which is a fascinating Haida. It's hard to say that the Torah only told us Rasha Balaylam, Khadaim Balaylam, Sadik Balaylam, Teva Balaylam, the last words of the Gemara, just to tell us what a sin is and to tell us how good a mitzvah is. But after the world, we explained, You come from this issue, an incredible Aida. What's the Aida? When the Yid falls into Aveda, he could have thought, I'll do Tshuvah, what's the rush? Which is interesting, when I was learning the Sicha, I remember the famous Sicha that people talk about that ever spoke when the spaceship um, went up into space, which was um, a few years before this. This was 1975, and that was 1969. And, the, and someone asked, at that time, there was a conversation, why when somebody does an Avera, is it such a big deal that they get punished? And the Rebbe said, gave a mushal. Imagine these people on the rocket ship start neglecting their job and be reckless. What kind, what's at stake? And the same thing with each and every one of us in our world, what's at stake? And that's really the Nekut the Rebbe says. A person has to know what's at stake. Das Bavarim de Gemara. As a turn it zayna zayna hagu, but calls man ed hot nit shuvah gitan is stendik doch hadayim ba elam nit nor b'shas ma'isa aveda. Nachmer das is nit nor nege im alei nor to the ganzer velt. In other words, the Rebbe is not making us guilty, but he's real. He's helping us appreciate the incredible weight on our shoulder. And so through to good bedenk that nit nor teiva farzich nor far the ganzer velt nor even from pulim and mshechas forever. When b'shas sayid v'tzichin dem adayin tzach then. As is told, when a person understands that it's all on him, it will be an incredible accomplishment. So that should, this all should give us a shake and help us make the right achlata to get it right. This sicha was said Yud Shvat and the follower of Parshas B'Shalach Tav Shalom and Hey, which was the 25th yard site of the Fidi Kedeber. Which the Rebbe made a siyum, obviously, for the yard site, and then gave the sicha, which is a fascinating thing about Amisol and the, the responsibility we 